Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome, everyone, to tonight's presentation of Jewish Songwriters American Songs. Uh, before we start, I first want to ask you all if you can silence your cell phones so that everybody will be able to enjoy it. So, you know, I could write a book about the wonderful songs that have filled our lives with music composed by Rodgers and Hart and Rodgers and Hammerstein, but tonight I will leave the job of helping you get to know these wonderful gems to two wonderful guys, Don Batchelder, Doctor of Trumpet, and Seth Salzman on keyboard and vocals. You are in for some enchanted evening, and you will surely leave here whistling a happy tune. <laughs> so let's welcome Don and Seth up here. We have to keep the applause going so we can go. Welcome, everybody. tonight to go over the great music of Richard Rogers. Richard Rogers. So what's the name of the series? Jewish Songwriters American Songs. Tonight we are going to present two and a half. <laughs> Technically. Uh, Richard Rogers, fully Jewish. Lorenz Hart, fully Jewish. Oscar Hammerstein II, his father was Jewish. We're good. We're good. His grandparents on his father's side, both Jewish. Two and three quarters. I don't know how you count that. Anyway, wonderful songwriters, amazing songwriters. Richard Rogers, uh, born in 1902. Uh, Lorenz Hart, born in 1895. Oscar Hammerstein, born in 1895. Uh, tremendous gene pool in that Upper East Side of New York where they all lived near Yorkville. They all grew up, born and grew up within blocks of each other. All three went to Columbia University. Send your kid to Columbia University uh, to learn some good stuff. Tonight, we're going to break the show up into two pieces. First, we're going to examine Rogers and Hart. After intermission, we're going to go enjoy some snacks outside, because we always provide snacks. Uh, we're going to go over Rogers and Hammerstein. And what I want you to listen to, what we want you to listen to tonight, is the difference in the way Richard Rogers wrote with Lorenz Hart, We'll call him Larry from now on. And the way he wrote with Oscar. Two very, very different lyricists, two very different styles of music from one composer. Really no, no parallel that Don and I, we've talked a lot about this. There's really nobody else who ever shifted gears quite like Richard Rogers. So um, without further ado, we're going to go run through a whole bunch of great Rogers and Hart songs. <laughs>
by the way, are from Babes in Arms, 1937. Again, Richard Rodgers, 43 Broadway shows. 43 Broadway shows, let's put that in perspective. Lynn manuel Miranda, who wrote Hamilton. Who's seen Hamilton? Beautiful show. Um, yeah, it's hard to get tickets, right? So who's seen Hamilton? No, I can no applause here. Uh, okay, a few people. Uh, his last show was in the Heights, which was about seven years ago. Two shows, seven years. Now, the market's different. A lot more at stake when you put a Broadway show on. Now it's millions and millions and millions of dollars to put a Broadway show on. Back on, they raised seventy-five thousand dollars. They put a show on. If we ran a hundred nights. It was a good show. It was a hit. And you got to write forty-three shows. And considering that Rogers started writing in 1925, and he stopped with his last show in 1977, forty-three shows in fifty years. We'll go through his home life later. <laughs> We'll, we'll talk about that in the second act. Uh, yeah, he was out of the house a lot. Uh, and we move on to uh, a song from um, Pal Joey. Pal Joey, a little later in the Rogers and Hart uh, timeline, 1940. A different kind of show about a real heel, My Pal Joey, um, from John O'Hara's stories. And uh, what are we going to do? Bewitched. We had two in a row. We didn't even know that as we started putting these together. Like, oh, those songs go together. Oh, those songs together. And that's a good point, Don, because we tend to think in the first act of the Rogers and Hart songs as standalone standards. These are from shows. We don't really associate the show because many of us don't know Pal Joey. We don't know Babes in Arms. We don't know the Garrigades. We don't know By Jupiter. We know the shows that we'll do after intermission, but uh, these are from the same show. So Bewitched, Bob. <laughs> 